<laughs> Welcome to another edition of URP Practical Talk. I am your host, Pastor Wendell Jeffrey. Namaste, salam alaikum. Thanks for joining us. Christian greetings. The United Republican Party is moving on at a pace, making covering significant grounds. And if you're patriotic and you love your country, that's a good thing. Is the only persons who would be annoyed that a new party is moving so aggressively ahead and, and making this kind of inroads would be people who are not patriotic. Because Guyana needs another party. We need a third force. And if you love your country, you'll agree with that. Um, especially because we need to move away from race and, and ideologies and so on. The URP opened a brand new office there in Linden, and here to talk about it is the leader, Dr. Vishnu Bandhu. We'll be showing you some pictures in the background, and we'll be talking about what happened in the mining town of Linden. And so without any further ado, let me again welcome Dr. Vishnu Bandhu. Thank How you, are you doing, Doc? I'm fine, thank Welcome. You, you look nice, yeah, bright and you. blue. <laughs> you look like you're from the United Nations yeah. in, those, in, that, in that blue there. Doc, you had a good time this weekend. Yeah. Um, time. Um, but when we were talking, you said to me, Pastor Jeffrey, it went better than I expected. What it is that you expected, um, that you think that you, what it is that you didn't expect to happen? What happened? I mean, that you didn't expect to happen. Well, I, I had um, expect a smaller crowd for one, okay. you know, and I actually had two times of the crowd that's what we had expected. Wow. Um, we, um, we actually ran out of uh, even food. We had to buy, <laughs> we had to buy more get, food get for so people food. and so forth. Um, what it is that, what, what is going on here? here? And you plan this event, you're a new party, you're a new kid in the block as well, especially there um, in, 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 in Linden Town. Um, what it is that you were expecting? You said less people, but what caused you to think that less people would show? Well, as you know, that um, we are a, we come back as, as a new party. We are not a new party, but we came back as a new party. Um, in the nineteen ninety two election, we our first office was in Georgetown, and our second office was also in in Linden area. Um, the same thing we repeated again. And we know that the PPP and the PNC, it's a PNC stronghold. Okay. And, uh, and, and the PPP have a lot of support also okay. in that area. So I was wondering to know how it will really turn out, how people will receive us. Right. Because of knowing that these two big giants, what they call themselves, occupy actually the territory already. But when I learned that is not so, because everyone fed up with these two giants, okay. you know, okay. even their own people are fed up okay. with them. Because after the opening, even their own people who I was made to understand is their representative in the area come to me. Uh, don't jump, yes. don't jump. You get, you're getting yes. excited. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you, yeah. you, 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 you get okay. Yeah. How how was it as 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 you got there and you were setting up? What what was the mood like? Um, the mood was was it was was good. It was a good mood. It's a normal way of you know and setting up. Um, we had we had a lot of help. People come and they help to set up and um, see that everything runs right. Mm -hmm. People come from different. Um, villages and so forth and I was surprised when I go there I saw everything the, the, the chair the tent everything was well fixed it was well dressed you know and I said yeah you know gee this is good you know because um, knowing that um, we are new and uh, you know we want to see what what's happening here we didn't have to send so many people but it had done okay all right, we're going to go to some pictures just now, um, and we're going to look to see what, what's happening there. But I want you to tell me about the office. How, what would be your opening hours at the office? It's 9.30 to 6.30, from, from Monday to Saturday. Okay. You know. Um, and what will happen in the office? Well, the office will be recruiting people. The office will take complaints from people in the area, what problem they're having. And we'll try to channel it channel those problems okay. to the right sources. And this is how the URP believe a political party should work. A political party should not work when the 
the campaign bell rang. Okay. You know, it should work around the clock, 24-7. Okay. Go to the people, meet with the people, find out their problem, table the, the, their problem to the right source okay. so that people can be able to look into it. And this is the vision of the URP. All right, so let's go ahead and let, let the technician run some of those pictures. And I want you to walk us through um, what happened there um, yesterday in the Linden Town there. Um, yeah, what, what, talk, talk to us. This is, this is the, you have an estimation of, uh, estimate of how many people showed well, up? Well, we have, we have over 300 people there. Okay. And, and this, um, the tent, and there was people on the roadside, and the people were to the back standing up and so forth. I was addressing the, the audience there. Um, I got a couple of rounds of applause in, in my, my de de uh, deliberation. Well, 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 tell, tell us a couple of things that you addressed there. You had a captive audience. Uh, two, two, or two or three things that you talked about. Well, we talked, number one, we talked about the, 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 the fooling of these two political parties. Mm. Fooling the people all the time coming wrong and telling them, promising them this and promising them that and so forth. And I also brought to their attention that what would they promise you? Well, what is not theirs? Mm -hmm. Whatever they have promised you is yours already. Correct. You know? So what can they promise you? They cannot promise you anything. Okay. And uh, we also, I also spoke about, um, you know, that, that, that the harmony for us to come together that we cannot live for 50 odd years. We have lived in, on this racial basis. Mm -hmm. People look at blacks and Indian and so forth, and only black and Indian you heard about. You're not hearing about the other four races, right, right. you know? Why, because we are the majority? No, Ghana belongs to each and every one of us. Okay. And each and every one of us has equal right in Ghana. Beautiful. And the URP, are trying to, to, to set up a policy in Guyana because policy put bread and butter on the table. Right. It's not race put the right. bread and butter. Right. Yeah. And race has been putting, uh, they have been, these two political parties have been putting race all the time on the table. But we want to show them to a different away way there. to right. move away. Let's go back, um, walk us through again. Let's go back to some of the um, footage there from yesterday, the pictures from yesterday. Yes. Okay, right, he's going to flip through. Uh, who, who were some of the other um, speakers um, that you had yesterday? Well, we had, we had yesterday, we had the, the coordinator for North America, um, Vishwanath Bandhu. We had Dr. Panhani from New York also was there at the opening. Okay. Um, we had Azad Khan. We had, um, also we had uh, Thurin Durga. We had David Curtin. We had representative from Region 2, Region 6, Region 4, Region 3. You know, uh, we had representative also from Region 10. Okay. Um, everybody was, was well received by the audience. Okay. You also had the, um, the, the Region 10 leader. Um, Yes, Mr. Ian Hall, he's okay. coordinator of, of, of the whole of Region 10. Okay. He has done a very good job in, um, in, in, in his deliverance. He was very excited because okay. he, was, he himself was... Yeah, that's his baby. Yeah. <laughs> that region he is was, his baby. He was, he was surprised, okay. you know, to know that the amount of people showed up there yesterday. He himself was surprised. So yesterday was a very big day yes. for the URP. In, 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 in Linden. And how much money um you, you how much money you spent in bossing the people there to that to that meeting yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, I we, know I you know I asked the question, right? How much money you spent in transportation well, well, and getting the people there? Um we have we had to bring people out from the from all of our groups. Okay. Um probably about two hundred thousand, a little more. Okay. It, you know, okay. it you, brought, you brought them from the... Yeah, so are, these people are coming from the river. Yeah, well, some of the who come from the river, we only pay for their fuel. Okay. You know, um, many people pay for their fuel only, you know. Okay. Uh, they, they volunteer their service. Beautiful. You know, Beautiful. to come out. So it was a, it's a, was a very good thing. It's okay. not really a pay, but 
contribution back to their fuel. Yeah, because the, the people are, some of them are unemployed and, mm -hmm. and, and, and you have that happening. Yes. Um, who, who the, 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 the representatives that you had from overseas, what, what kind of issues were they able to speak to? Because they're from the diaspora, many of them, all of them are Guyanese born, mm -hmm. but many of them live overseas. What, 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 what are some well, of the things that concern them? <clears throat> Well, what's concerning them that they, they, they have been working very hard and they have been outlined to the people there that we are working very hard in the United States to help you because we care. This is our country. You know, we want to see betterment for our country. And they are encouraging them that, look, you have to work hard too so that we can be able to assist you to have this, this, this change in Guyana, to have a modern and safe Guyana as the URP outlining all the safe. time. Yes, sir. You know, because if you don't help yourself, we can't help you. And that was the appeal from the, from the um, coordinator leader of, of the um, North America group, oh. Bishona. Okay, how many, how many groups are there now in Region 10? Because you've been forming groups all along we on have the coast on the, and on the, on, in, in the riverine area. How many groups? We have 12 have? groups right now. Okay. Um, and in what areas? You, you know, you can talk. Um, we have in the, the Damar River up okay. to, up to uh, Malali. Um, we have all the like, three friends, Marais, um, Elizabeth. Um, I, I can't remember yeah, all know, the names at the time, but we have, we have, you know, okay. all the outer area mostly. Um, out of Linden, um, and you probably may want to know why we form most in the outer area of Linden. Mm -hmm. Because the outer area, we haven't seen the, the, the play of racism okay. in those areas. Okay. Okay. You know, we see people look at everyone as a human being. Okay. And we are hoping that when we bring these people together, the Lindener who are playing this racial ball, you know, will able to understand something. Okay. You know, um, many of them were from Linden also there. Okay. And representative, as I said earlier, from other political party was also there. Okay. You know. And you, 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 you said that there were also some people who were there as observers. You, how, how, what, what's your take on that? You people were there taking well, notes the, and they recording were, what yes, was being. They were, what was there was on? like special service, government okay. special service from the police section. Okay. There was police. Um, you know, they had the opposition people there. They okay. had the PPP. They had the PNC. Okay. You know, they all was there. I I, I feel that they are curious <laughs> to yeah. see what will happen because someone come up to me and said. You know, two years ago, you couldn't do this what you do here. Okay. You know, and you would not have get this support that what you have get here today. Okay. And this is a sign for 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 Linden. Okay. What is happening? It means change is here. Okay. You know, it this racial thing would not penetrate very much. Okay. They will have racial things going on with race but it will not penetrate as much as it used to. As I said, that my honest <coughs> feeling in the next 10 years in Guyana, mm -hmm. the racism will die out. Would they, would, would, right, it would, wouldn't, it because would, it's a different breed of people. people coming on it's now. a different generation. It's yes. the youngest folk. Yes. The racism yes. only peddled by the older folk. As I talk, I talk there about the dead fish too. It's swimming again. You know, I yeah. said dead fish go with the tide, the living fish, fish go against, uh, against the tide. The and I told the yeah. audience, I said, all of you here, I consider the living fish. Exactly. You know, and those who clink on on the PPP and the PNC, I call them dead fish. Right, right. Now, just quickly, you, 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 aside from the groups that you have in Region 10, you have other groups across the country also. Yes, we, have, a group, we have groups all over, Barbies, uh, Cubo, you know, uh, we form groups, we form a lot of groups on the West Bank, West Coast, you know, so we have probably about 40, 50 groups around. Now, when you have an event like the one you had um, over the weekend, you expect that given the speakers and given the hype and the early excitement that happened, you expect for there to be some residual benefits. 
were you able to sign up any new groups? Did any person um, ally themselves with the party that has not been with the party before? Oh, yes. Many people, many people come up in the office and want to sign up. You know, and we asked them to come back and sign up because it was kind of hectic. Wow, okay. You know, um, many of them came to sign up from, from different, different um, areas, like Rockstone and all those places. Okay. You know, they came up and they want to sign uh, the Malali and, you know, all over the place. All right. right. Yeah, technician, run back some of those um, pictures there. Let's talk some more about that. And so you had these folks, um, one of your speakers... Um, was was Dr. Thorin Dorga. Yes. Um, and, and, and he is aligning himself with the, the URP. Talk a little about, about him and, and, and what, 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 what he brings. Well, he was talking about the refinery, the, the oil refinery, that they had been able to put together an oil refinery, uh, you know, um, a sketch of that. Okay. Um, they have it shown on paper, and he thinks that that will be super for the Linden, in the Linden to area. Put the oil refinery in Linden. Put the oil refinery in Linden to create jobs wow, wow, in Linden. Wow, wow. You know, um, it was very exciting okay. with, with that. Um, I don't think they find him when he talks so much excited, but when I talk about this, yeah, yeah. you know, then the people start to get crazy on it. Okay. You know, um, I he also spoke about the 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 hemp a little about hemp. Okay. You know, um, and because we are talking about development, we are not talking, you are people, don't only want to point fingers to anyone. Beautiful, beautiful. Right? We are talking about how to develop Guyana, how people can be able to, to have a better way of life. Okay. URP is all about the people. It's not about us, and it's not about power. Okay. It's about the people. Now, now you are you are attracting, there's Dr. Thorin Dorga, you have Dr. Punani. Um, that, that that very uh, respectable doctor there in, in, in the in, in the Brooklyn area. No, no, in Queens area. Queens area at the the, the uh, hospital. Yes, he has there. his own clinic. Um, but him. he also works yeah. with the, the, yeah. the hospital there. Mm. Now, what it is that you are doing, or what it is that the party is doing, that is causing these significant people to to, to come on board. Do, the, the, the Dr. Torin Dorga is is well known. Alisi Rice and Alisi Company, and, and now, and now um, Dr. Um, Punhani, you've got some significant people. What it is that are making the, what it is that the party is doing that is making these people come aboard? Well, one, one for, for one, um, I think that they, they look at me as a very sincere and honest person okay. that who can able to take Guyana uh, forward. Mm -hmm. um, they look at and listen to me very carefully that where I will not condole in any racism. Okay. You know, um, we must be able to talk about Guyanese, we must be able to talk about human being, and nothing else but that. Okay. Not about the, about the texture of the hair or the color of the skin. Okay. And um, URP has been making a significant inroad because of that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you would surprise to know that the kind of people, the, the kind of heavy PNC people, who come up and they came up there after the meeting, spoke to me and said, Dr. Bandu, let me tell you clearly I'm a PNC. I was a PNC all the time, but I ain't able with the PNC no more. Some PPP people come and tell me the same thing, that none of these two political parties we don't want to hear, and you have our support. Okay. You know? okay. So you see things are changing. Mm -hmm. you know, people started thinking. Like living fish. Well, <laughs> well, like I said in my in my in my little opening monologue, it is it is healthy for Guyana to move away from the things that have bogged us down in the past. It is healthy for us to move away from the racism and from the negative political ideologies. And and if you are patriotic Guyanese, and if you're honest, you would have to admit, you gotta ask yourself, why am I a PPP? Why did I support the PPP? Why am I a PNCite? Why did I support the PNC? And is it really because of my love for country or is it my love for party and the ideology? So I guess that those are some of the things that, are, that is causing you to appeal to these um, very significant people across the diaspora. Mm -hmm. And um, we will talk 
um, some more to some of the folks who are in the country in regards to the to the opening. So, um, Mr. Technician, just run back some of those pictures there. So, you 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 have to cut the ribbon for the opening of the um the thing. Who assisted in in, in those things in the cutting of the well, ribbon? Well, we have we have give the we have called on the 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 two foreign uh the the leader and and coordinator for the North America group and Dr. Punhani. Okay. I, I have asked them to cut it, but they insist that I should be there too. <laughs> so I you also joined them. Yeah. And as you can see in the picture, you know, they were cutting the ribbons and, um, you know, they got a big rounds of applause, okay. you know, in that. All right. You know. So where you go from here, um, based on your, on your um, projection, um, you've been in the political arena for a long time. Um, based on how the trend is flowing, where where do you go from here? How 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 is it um how is it moving along, and where do you think is your next um your next big area? Well, we are um, hoping to open the next office in Essequibo, okay, and then one in Burbies, okay. you know, um, Charity and Rose Hall. We are okay. hoping to open that very shortly. Um, because people are calling upon us that they need for us to open offices so where they can go and and talk to people and you know see what they can do to assist and so forth. Um, it's it's surprising that you know since yesterday we have been receiving um, WhatsApp and so forth. People are asking to come on board. Yeah, while while you mention WhatsApp, let's just tell because something we say to the end of the program. Um, there, there are lots more pictures that you can find, and there are some video clips and so on. You can go on our website, www.urpguyana.com, www.urpguyana.com, or you can go on the Facebook page, URP Guyana, and, and you can look for that. And if you can't find it, you type in Vishnu Bandhu, and it's all up there. I just wanted to make that plug as we move forward. Yeah, Doc, you were, you were saying yeah. that. So, well, one, you know, this, this program here, we just want to let people understand and see that the, the kind of inroad that the URP is making. In Linden alone, you can see, and picture tells a lot. Mm -hmm. You can see the amount of people who were there, Correct. you know, and what kind of people, and they are hungry mm -hmm. for a different political party, a third force like the URP. You know, and um, I know that th we will get a lot of support. We'll be surprising a lot of people mm -hmm. on this uh, upcoming general election because a lot of people are going out there and they will be forming groups. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping to have groups each village in Guyana, mm -hmm. right? We are hoping that a house-to-house -house campaign will be going on and everybody will try to talk to each other mm -hmm. to let them understand, to educate them that, look, we cannot go racist, racial. Correct. We have to go with, with the policy. Issues and, you know, and, and issues, issues and, 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 and all these things. Yeah. Now, you, you, you said you received some commitment from some of the folks from the diaspora um, who have pledged that they will be coming back from time to time to work um, towards... Um, increasing the, 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 the campaign for the URP. How excited are you about Well, that? I am very excited because right now, as you know, we have we had two comes comes in this morning. Okay. We have the next one comes in when one going out. Okay. So it seems like all the groups, them people flowing in all the time. <laughs> so, you know, and we are hoping that people, other people are making commitment okay. that they will be coming and they will be talking to people in their various villages and and try to let them, to educate them, to understand that we have been going in a wrong direction. We have to change the mentality. Correct. If we honestly want to change in Guyana, we have to change the way of our thinking. Otherwise, we would not go forward. Okay. We will always remain this way. And I would like to appeal to each and every one of you who are looking here, if you support the same political party, you will get the same result. You will have nothing else but having the same result over and over. And then in the next 50 years, you'll be in big trouble. Your children 
who never asked you to bring food them in this world will be suffering just as like you. Do you want that? <laughs> Do you want your children to go through the same thing that you are going through? Wow. And I'm sure you don't want that. Right. Your job is to guide your children, to make them a better human being. You would like to see your children have a family. You would like to see your children have children so that you can get grandchildren and great-grandchildren so that you can able to have three square meals a day, not to wonder. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you will be able to see smile on their face. And the only way you can do that is through the United Republican Party. The URP. Okay. All right, Doc. Now, you talked about, as we wind down the time here, you talked about the folks who um, came to you from the existing parties and spoke um, so on. How excited were the people who are already members of the URP? As they go back into the Riverine areas, as they move on from, from, from what happened over the weekend, how excited are they and what are they, what, what did they tell you at the end of what happened? Mm -hmm. Everybody has been coming and shaking my hand, and they are so proud to be a part of the URP, and they, they, will, they will go out there, and they will try to campaign house to house, and try to educate the others, and they will share what they listen at the, at the opening. Mm -hmm. They will share it with others, because they are convinced that URP is the way to go, okay. and no other way. So they are very excited, I'll tell you that. Yet you can see it in their face. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see the smile in their face. You can see the joy in them. That it, we are bringing back hopes to people. Right. You know, these are hopes we are bringing back to our people in Guyana. You know, that tell them, look, don't go and drink poison. Don't go and kill yourself with alcohol. In fact, I talk about the alcohol there, okay. how it's killing our people. I had the biggest applause for that, and I surprised. <laughs> you know, yeah. you see. When, when you when, when you honest, you don't have to fear. If if you're speaking from a, from an honest heart, you don't have yeah. to be concerned that if I say something that that might come across as negative. If you're honest, no. people 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 buy into I, it. Pastor, I never fear of anything yeah, okay. because everything that I I said to the people, I'm saying it from my heart. Okay. And it only comes from my heart. Okay. You know, I'm not saying things that someone tell me. I'm not going and writing a speech to tell one. I'm saying what comes out of, out of me. Okay. And I'm very sincere. I'm very honest in, in whatever I'm saying. Doc, I'm going to give you a chance here. We come to the top of the hour to, to, to give you a closing remarks. I just want to congratulate you, though, because um, for the kind of response that we got this weekend there, in a, in, a, in, a, in a traditionally strong whole, it, it speaks volume. It shows that people are beginning to, to think and to understand that you can't, like you said, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. And I think, again, that if you are patriotic and if you love your country, you must admit that we have made some very significant missteps in the past. And, and, and if we're going to right the ship of Guyana and we're going to take Guyana so that we can experience a true progressive country uh, with everybody benefiting from the natural resources that we have, then we have to move away from pure political ideologies and partyism and we have to deal with issues and so on. So, Doc, as we come down now, I want you to look into the camera and I want you to tell the folks again just a short message from your heart. Once again, I'd like to appeal to you to look at the URP with a very serious eye. Look at them as your party, because we are here for you. We are here, your friends, your family from overseas are supporting you so that you can be able to have a better life for you and your children. So please, I beg you, please, Support the URP. We are not here for power. We are here for you, the people of Guyana. Thank you, and may God bless all of you. All right. Well, thank you, Doc, and thanks for listening to us. Thanks for joining us. Remember, join us on this station, same time um, next week. 
Um, visit us on the World Wide Web, www.urpguyana.com, or visit us on our Facebook page. You'll see all the videos. Until then, God bless you. Thanks for welcoming us into your homes, and see you next week. Yeah.